Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be talking about the MagSafe wallet from Moft. So it's actually a different wallet and style from Apple's um, first party one. Uh, it's actually also a stand and it also holds three cards, just like the Apple one. Um, so the difference between these, just from basic looks, is the size is a little bit different. Uh, I'll put the sizes on the screen right now. Um, this one seems to have stronger magnets, uh, although this one's actually not the real MagSafe wallet, so I can't exactly compare the magnets. Uh, but then these are very strong, and I tested it, and it, it's very, like, it, it won't come off. Also, the alignment magnet is really satisfying. It just clicks in, um, and I had no problems with the wallet here. Uh, just a couple of things that I noticed was that the comfort of this is a little bit worse than with the original one. Um, if you actually look at the wallet here, it's sloped off at the end. Can't really focus. Okay, yeah. It's sloped off at the end, unlike the Moft wallet, which seems to just cut off aggressively. Um, it's not that big of a deal when you're having when you have a larger iPhone. This is actually the mini, so it's a little bit uncomfortable because <clears throat> the edge of the wallet is the edge of the phone. Uh, this one is a lot nicer. I did test both with a bigger phone, the iPhone 12, and um, you don't really have the same comfort issues with the larger models, so that should be fine. Um, a couple things that I noticed about this wallet is a, the threading seems to be pretty reliable, but it does come off time to time. Um, I'm pretty sure that won't be an issue once the, once I use the wallet a lot longer. Um, also, it's made out of vegan leather, uh, so it just feels pretty nice, and I don't think it'll age like a normal leather wallet would, but that's fine. Uh, also, another thing is when you have three cards inside of the wallet, it's just a quick tip is that you can push down here and then the stand will come out a lot easily. And that goes on to my second part of this stand. Um, the stand is really nice for standing up your phone like this. It actually holds it really nicely. Um, no matter how hard you push on it, the stand's not going to give out. It actually uses magnets to hold in both positions. And another cool thing is, unlike the original Moth stand, this one you could mount horizontally and then use as if it was a phone stand uh, to watch videos on. So that's really cool. Okay, so the next part is, do you really need the Moth stand? I'd say it's not something you need, but once you do get it, you start to use it a lot more. For example, um, when I watch videos like while I'm eating a snack, uh, instead of using my computer or taking around my iPad, I like to just prop it up horizontally and then start watching like Netflix or a quick YouTube video. Uh, that's really nice too. Also, when, I, when I'm using my phone for reference, another cool thing you can do is mount this thing upside down, which gives you a different angle like that um, compared to this angle. Uh, so it's actually really, useful for a lot of different situations. Also, it's magnetic, so it's really satisfying as a fidget toy. Um, that's just an extra plus. Uh, so, the actual thing where you could mount the magnet like this, the fact that you can rotate it around the magnet ring gives you a lot of flexibility for um, the different ways you can watch a video, scroll through content, or just use the phone in general. Also, another thing is sometimes uh, when I'm lazy, I just prop out the, the magnet like this, put my fingers through, and then it just holds it as if it's like one of those uh, those rings. But obviously, it's not the most comfortable because it's not really made for it. Uh, so I don't recommend doing that. Uh, but other than that, I think the build quality is great. It's really, really tough. So I, like even trying to bend it, um, you're not going to have any problems. And also, pulling out the cards is simple, but I wouldn't say it's like something you want to do all the time. Uh, pushing it out, it's really hard to push out like one single card that you want, so usually you just pull out everything. 
and then use whichever you want to put them back in. Um, that's not always the most elegant, but it's really convenient because it's just on the back of your phone. So thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, please give a thumbs up. You can't fit. Give, the, give a thumbs up, subscribe, and if you want any more uh, MagSafe related videos, then leave a comment in the description. Uh, bye, thank you for watching, and see you in the next one.